The parents of a Parkland school shooting victim continue to advocate for gun control across the country. And they're using two billboards in Springfield to get their message across. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford spoke with the parents to hear their story. Wednesday would have been the 21st birthday of Joaquin Oliver, who was killed in the Parkland school shooting in Florida more than three years ago. Everybody in their minds that you could be like we are today, celebrating Joaquin in heaven instead of having him next to us. Now Oliver's parents, Manuel and Patricia, are advocating for gun control, and they're starting their mission right here in Springfield. If you're driving down Interstate 291, you may notice two new billboards. Manuel Oliver designed the billboard with a picture of his son's face in words that read, I can't enjoy my first legal beer because a Florida teen was allowed to get his first legal AR-15. We live in a nation that allows um, people under 21 years old to purchase an assault weapon. It also has a beer being shattered by a bullet from an assault weapon. You feel the frustration not to have a team here celebrating with him with that beer that they took away. So that's very symbolic. The two billboards were strategically placed near the headquarters of Springfield gun manufacturer Smith & Wesson. Which is the um, location where the assault weapon that murdered our son was manufactured. We asked people in Springfield how they felt about the new billboard. I think they should show that so they, people could see what they're doing. Hopefully people will wake up. But on our Facebook post with the picture of the billboard, many people commented that they did not support the Oliver's message. People questioned why the billboard seemed to blame the gun or gun manufacturer and not the shooter himself. But the Olivers tell Western Mass News in order to promote change, they need to target everyone involved. We are also going after the gun manufacturer. We are going after every single element that has one small guilt in the death of our son. Now the billboard will stay up for a month in Springfield. Then the couple plans to take their message across the country, hoping to stop more tragedies from happening before it's too late. Reporting in Springfield, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News. We reached out to Smith and Wesson for their reaction and they were not available for immediate comment.